Mods, this is Aaron from ATL Sub Home Crew, and today I'm going to be talking about a mod that just blew up overnight, has got gained a lot of popularity in the vape industry this year, and uh, it is just, it's up there with the Geppettos, the Champ GTs, the HKs, and it's just a gorgeous mod made in the US of A in Chattanooga, Tennessee by a modder named Steve Dockery. Super humble guy, super laid back, and he definitely cares about the mods that he's putting out into this industry. So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys the top hat, and uh, I'm just going to zoom down and uh, talk about it while I present it to you. All right, so here we go. So when you receive your top hat mod, it will be in this box. It has this latch right here that you undo like that, and inside will be this goodness right here. Grabbing your mod. So I've learned quite a few things about this mod in the past couple weeks. Um, so I'm just going to start from the top and work my way down. So this 510 is the third revision of the 510. Uh, the original one, the first one, was a raised 510. Um, and then it went to a second one that had holes in the side. And then it went to this third one, which is custom fabricated for Steve Dockery and is not on any other mods. The, there's actually threading along the outside of the 510 so uh, so he it's easier for him to get them in there and I mean they're custom made they're pretty dope uh, the cool thing is this 510 has had less issues with bog rats and stuff of that nature now going over to these screws those are tamper proof screws right there um, which you know adds a unique look to a mod because you know I've never seen these screws even just in the world at all, but uh, it's a unique, different look than just regular old wood screws or you know Allens or anything like that. Also, it's to prevent people from tampering with the mod because Steve has great customer service, so he just rather you send the mod to him, and that way he can take care of it. Now, looking at the frame, this frame is stainless steel, <clears throat> and not only that, it is Cerakoted. Um, so not anodized, not painted, and uh, was, if you're not familiar with Cerakoting, it's actually the same uh, finish that they put on some guns, so it's really durable and uh, it can take a beating. Um, this has been my daily driver for the past several weeks, and uh, I haven't seen any chipping or wearing or anything like that, and I've also seen other top hats that have been dropped, and it's you know very hard to get this coating off. So the cool, another cool thing about the frame is he's also doing other colors like lime green, uh, I believe white, uh, sandblasted, well it looks sandblasted, but they, they call it titanium, but it's like more of a gray. Um, just a whole bunch of different colors, so it's pretty much endless. Another innovative thing that I've, I've seen nobody else do is the button. Now this button is actually cut from the same block of what your body is made out of. And I'll, I'll go to the body, I'll talk about the body later, of exactly what it's made of. But it is cut from the same block and each individual button is hand turned by Steve himself. So they're not mass produced, they're not something that he just grabs and you know like a big bag of. They're all made one by one individually. So down here you got your up and down tactiles. And then to the screen. Now something different about the screen, as you can see it's red. Another innovative thing that Steve has done is um, he's added filters to these screens. Now there's two different batches. There's the big screen DNA 40 and then there's also the SX350J. This is the SX350J chip and he put a red screen on there. Um, now I'm not going to get into the ins and outs of what the SX350J is, but in a nutshell it's pretty much a 60 watt regulated chip, uh, 120 if you stack the batteries, and uh, it has temp uh, temperature protection and it um, can be used in watts and joules. So it's a pretty badass chip. Uh, China definitely knocked it out of the park with this one. But the cool thing is he has done different filters for different mods. I, I've seen green, blue, you know, yellow, I think, and uh, it's, it's pretty badass. So making our way down to the USB. USB is at the bottom, and that's not for charging with the SX. It's just for any upgrades that will be coming out in the near future. Now to the body. So this wood, this particular wood, is a Buckeye uh, stabilized or Buckeye Burl stabilized um, hybrid. So it's got resin that's poured in right there, and you can see the really nice grain and burls that are in it. Um, really a nice piece of wood, and I like how the black matches the frame. It just has really good contrast. Um, and if you look along the spine of the mod. Uh, it almost has that robusto Geppetto look where it uh, comes out like that and that's for a more ergonomic feel and it really feels well in the hand and not only that you can see how small this mod really is I mean it is a really small mod 
and it feels great in the hand for uh, the first, you know, for um, what's that? Uh, pointer, I guess your pointer finger, and uh, also for a thumb fire. I prefer the the pointer finger fire though. Feels pretty good like that. And the button has a. Uh, I think really good play. I mean, I mean, it doesn't have much play, but I mean, it has really good action. Like it's clicky, it registers. It's not like soft and squishy, and you don't know if you're clicking it. It just has a really good feel to it. So another cool thing about the body right here is there's actually an inlay, and it is um, it shows the top hat logo as well as your serial number. So that is pretty badass. Uh, I can't even feel the work. That's how good the work is there. Um, excuse me. Um, and uh, so it's just it's great, man. Um, another thing is a lot of people think this mod is clear coated. It's actually not clear coated. It um it is actually hand polished by Steve. Um, clear coating can add to problems later in the future. Um, what problems with clear coating is you can get haziness sometimes, uh, and also you can get chipping. Yeah, if you drop your mod or something like that, it'll start to chip off, and then it won't be shiny in one place, and it'll be shiny on the other. But these are all hand polished by Steve to get that almost wet, shiny look. Now, working our way down to the bottom, this is a custom brass uh, battery cap with a copper uh, screw in the middle, so that's to adjust for battery rattle. Then you have two more screws at the bottom, and then you also have this silver-plated uh, ground screw. And, you know, I've used other high-end mods where I turn the wattage all the way up, and then it kind of flutters and cuts out sometimes. Uh, that's for a better ground, and will prevent that. So yeah, that's pretty, uh, pretty badass right there. And uh, what else can I say about this mod? Pretty much, pretty much, that's it in a nutshell. I mean, you know, single 18650. He is working on a 26650. Um, but yeah, overall, guys, amazing device. Really stealthy vape. Feels great in the hand. Um, and I really like how it's made in Tennessee, you know, literally an hour and a half away from me. And uh, overall, it's a great mod. So yeah, guys. Um, I appreciate you guys watching this review. If you guys have, you know, if you guys want to find out more about this mod, uh, just, you know, type in uh, Top Hat Mods on Facebook and his like page will pop up and you can find out more detail about how to obtain this mod. Uh, this mod retails for $600. Um, how Steve will be selling the mod, I'm not quite sure on how he will be doing that. There was a list, but that list is almost done and I don't know how he's going to do it from there on out. But yeah, guys, Top Hat Mods. Awesome device, awesome daily device, and uh, look out for it, 2015. All right, you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching. Peace.